today. Okay, next tutorial. This time I'm going to be dressed up as Lord English from the webcomic Homestuck. I don't know a huge lot about this series. I've done one makeup from Homestuck before, but I've never actually read the series. So if I do get any of the details wrong, I'm really sorry. I think this character is meant to be the final form of Caliborn. Is that how you pronounce it? I, I'm probably butchering this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so many people requested that I do this makeup. So I'll pop a few names on the screen now, the first few people that requested it. And the first person to request it was right here. Yay! So thank you everyone that requested this makeup. If you'd like to know how to recreate it, stay tuned. So I'm going to start off by taking a regular eyeliner pencil, doesn't really matter which one it is, as long as it leaves a mark, and I can start tracing on the shape that I want for the mouth and the cheekbones. So this stage is only going to be rough, it's just so you have a guideline. Okie dokie, so you get the general idea. I was just going to trace on the mouth. Obviously, I've done the nose and the eyes as well. I just wanted to get a general feel of how big the mouth needs to be and just to get the scale. But as you can see, the nose is just an upside down heart. I just think by drawing it on there and making the teeth go over the lip, it should hopefully draw attention away from the mouth and make it look like this is a giant mouth that's open. That's my plan. So then I'm going to pop on a plain latex ball cap. I'm also going to be blocking out both my eyebrows. And I'm not going to show you guys how to do that in this video just to save up some time. So I'll pop two links in the description bar below this video. If you check that out, there are two links in there that will take you straight to the videos to teach you guys how to do that. So I'm just going to go pop on my ball cap and block out my eyebrows and we'll go from there. So there we are. After I applied my ball cap, I went around the edge with about four layers of liquid latex to get rid of the seam. I also went over my ears because I think ears on a skull would look a bit weird. Then I'm going to take a matte chroma cake watercolour. This is in True Chartreuse, just a really nice light green. And I'm going to use that to go over all of the teeth. Then I'm just going to take a dark green matte chroma cake colour, this is in landscape green. And I'm just going to paint a half circle just behind the teeth, just to make it look like the mouth is a bit more three dimensional. And I'm also going to do the same behind the middle part of the teeth, just going around. Then taking a black matte chroma cake colour, I'm going to paint in the rest of the mouth. Then I'm just blending in the black to the green with a new brush with just a tiny bit of water on it, no colour. And I'm just pulling it upwards just so it acts more of a shadow. Then I'm just going to take a Maybelline Master Ink Liquid Eyeliner in black and I'm just going to outline all of these teeth just to make them a bit sharper and a bit more crisp. Then I'm going to take a Superstar Green. This is in number 142. It's a really nice, gorgeous, bright green. It's a nice light shade that's between the teeth and the green I've got here. And with that, I can apply that on the inside area of the skull here and the outside area here, as well as the jawline here. So then I'm going to take a MAC black paint stick and with that I'm going to start blending out all of this side here, so the temples, but it's going to be particularly dark where it pivots in the most. So the blending is going to be fairly light out here and on top, but really dark on the temples. I'm also going to blend this line with the black downwards as well. Then taking the black cream, I can also colour in the little heart that's in the middle of my nose. Then taking the cream again, I'm going to draw a line going around the eye, just a half moon shape, and then blend that outwards, just so it acts as a socket line. And 
And again with the cream, now I'm going to go around the tops of each of the teeth and blend the colour upwards, scoring in the middle of each tooth upwards as well. Then I'm going to take a bright red watercolour by Superstar, this is in number 035, and with that I'm going to draw two red circles just on my new cheekbones. Then I'm going to take the black watercolour by MAC and I'm going to paint the rest of my ball cap around the edge of this black. Don't worry about the line because I'm going to blend that in afterwards and then around my jawline. Then I can paint my neck and my chest and shoulders in the light green by Superstar. Then I'm going to take the landscape dark green and it's going to start shading in my collarbone. Sorry, I kind of got carried away there, experimenting. I'm just taking the black cream and I'm just doing some rough contouring just to see if it would be more effective than the green, and it does seem to be. So I'm just tracing out the shape roughly for now and then I'm going to be blending it inwards. I'm not going to do too much on my chest because I've got a whole costume piece that's going to cover that, so I think we're done for now. I've not done anything with my eyes for a very good reason, like I did in my previous tutorial, my Demon Mickey Mouse tutorial. I've got two fake eyes. Yay! These are just pictures of billiard balls that I've just cut out and I've cut the numbers out so I can see through the middle of them. I've coloured the edges just so they'll blend in a bit more. I was going to use contact lenses but because they're billiard balls and I think it makes it look a whole lot more cartoony, I thought these were cool. The idea is to apply a tiny bit of Vaseline, you don't need any glue or anything like that, and then just to stick them in place. So I'm just going to go do that. So there we are, so as I said, because I cut out the numbers I can see through it perfectly fine. The last thing to do really is for me to pop on my costume and I think I'm done. And there we go, that's my look officially complete. So I finished the look off by popping on this giant collar which I just made really quickly just before I did this tutorial. I hope it's okay, it's really nothing special. I just think he's meant to have this like multicoloured lapel, I'm not too sure about that but I thought I'd make it bigger and more theatrical just to be more in keeping with the look. <laughs> So yeah, that's my tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, please make sure to you know the usual. Rate, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. And yeah, so until next time. Bye guys!